supposed to go drifting today. Uh, this is what the fog looks like. All the highways up to Nico Circuit are closed right now. So uh, I'm trying to get to a PA right now. And uh, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna chill there for a bit. Google Maps has no idea what it's doing. It thinks all the highways are open, but they're completely closed because of this fog. So yeah, I'm gonna chill at a highway for the next like hour or so and wait for the fog to clear. And then we'll head up to Nico. So I took a nap at a 7-Eleven car park and uh, jumped on the highway in about an hour's time. And now it's all open. So I'm gonna pull in real quick, get a Starbucks, and then we're gonna get it to Nico Circuit. We're gonna be running like an hour and a half, two hours late, but it's fine. We're gonna be drifting till 4 p.m. So should be a good day. Well, lads, we made it. And now to go through the death tunnel and not lose a mirror. <laughs> So we're obviously at the track now and I'm in such a rush to unpack everything and you all called it in the comment section. It was only a matter of time before I spilt coffee in my S15. Uh, luckily it's not too much. I'll just get in there real quick and clean it out with a rag. But uh, this seat doesn't exactly move and fold around so it's gonna be difficult trying to get in there and uh, clean it all up. But nonetheless, we're at the circuit. Vito's here, test it's out his car. solution to spilling, it's called a lid. Okay, thanks mate, but that doesn't taste good. That, that's not a caramel macchiato, my bro. Uh, <laughs> everyone comment in the comment section, smash the like button if you know what I'm talking about. Like, I, I do like canned coffee, but that is not a caramel macchiato. No, but it is a solution. It is a solution, that's true. Yeah, why does, hang on, you know what? I should just get a Starbucks like Thermos and then I wouldn't have that problem, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm too cheap for that though. All right. Let's get this car all emptied out of everything and go skid. Um, typical seven. I somehow forgot my entire bag with my laptop, GoPros and everything. Luckily I grabbed the G7X on my way out because that's my normal vlogging camera. So I got you guys set up on an over shoulder shot. Vito Sun's gonna get some footage with his iPhone from the outside to compensate for the lack of GoPros today. So hopefully everything's all good. Now we're gonna go out, see how this feels, new tie rod ends and all that kind of stuff and spaces. It's definitely gonna feel different than the shakedown. So I'm gonna probably spend a good like couple sessions getting the hang of the chassis and then we'll start sending it a bit harder. So for now, all about seat time, getting the hang of the chassis. Banks on the back of the main straight is epic. I love this car. 
Definitely need to tidy up my steering like crazy, but we're making it work. You guys might notice, and if Vito comes up close here, it says rotation this way. But uh, I'm putting it on the car like on this side, which means it's gonna be running the opposite way, right? Pro tip for anyone that runs Kenders or any type of uh, directional tire, normally you get them to last longer and you find that you get more grip out of them if you run them in reverse on your drift car. They also don't delaminate as faster. So pro tip for you guys. Now this is the side that has no grip whatsoever. <laughs> oh yeah, look at the little handbrake flat spots. This thing like the, had no inside bite at all. Had a little bit of side bite, which was good. I love this. Which is something I asked Okachan about, right? I asked him why doesn't he level out the camber in the rear end? And he says that he always adds a tiny bit of camber so that you always get that side bite even when your tires are like completely worn like this. Because that's important to stop you from spinning out. And when you're in top and you get a one more time and you're not allowed to change tires, that's important. It's so rare to be here for an event and not a single car out there running. So quiet for Nico, but it's lunchtime and I went for the Nico circuit or Bajchan special chicken karage curry with a Coke. Let's go out and have some fun again. session we worked out there's a bit of an issue with my diff as well we jacked up the car and it seems like the friction pads in there are a bit worn out and it needs rebuilding um, I have a Nismo two-way in this but it's pretty much like uh, a factory like helical or viscous LSD right now so it's proving a bit interesting to kind of do a bunch of high angle stuff um, but it's it's workable with just a bit more e-brake clutch kicks and stuff like that and I can kind of make it work but when it starts spinning one wheel it kind of sends me forward it's it's really weird 
kind of almost reacts like understeer. Well, it's not really understeer, it's just kind of doesn't drag out the corner per se. It's hard to explain. I don't know the ex exact wording for it, but one wheel sometimes spins instead of two, especially when I'm like hitting the dipper on Nico. So then I just gotta like pop the e-brake a bit and clutch kick it and then it starts spinning both again. So uh, we'll change that diff out next time. Uh, probably not tomorrow because I gotta go to the hospital. I'll explain that later. <laughs> I I'm okay though. I just, I just need to get something out of my eye. Uh guys my wastegate pipe has completely fallen off the exhaust manifold no my SR sounds like America not really it sounds like half of America but uh, kind of a sad ending to the day but she ripped man I had so much fun with her up until that one moment and I'm so glad no one was chasing me in that moment because that complete loss of power was nasty and if someone was chasing me and close to me, that would have been contact for sure. Anyways, we're going to take this thing to the Yashio factory. We're going to park this thing up and then come and get it tomorrow. Pretty fun day though. Very successful. And it only broke right at the end of the day, of course, knowing my luck. It was literally like the universe was trying to tell me not to drift today. Leave all my cameras at home. 
couldn't get on the highway because of the fog on time and all of that so we were like an hour and a half late um, what else happened I don't even remember but today it was just lots of things didn't go according to plan and here we are car is broken but it will be fixed don't worry <laughs> I mean honestly if you think about it this thing sat for 10 years and was used in competition drifting before that so this is why we're trying to do all these events and stuff like that to try and find problems with the car and get it fixed well in times like these i think you just need a nice refreshing coke so asmr coke time boys Hold it. beautiful thank you very much this is what it's all about get the car perfect there's a couple big events happening um, like uh, blah, blah, i can't speak there's a couple big events happening in a few weeks that this thing needs to be running really well for and i have to put it to its test and break everything that's going to break so that we can make sure it's going to be flawless you guys will find out soon it's very exciting and um but uh yeah a lot of things are about to happen in the next few weeks with this car so uh we're probably going to end up welding the manifold and fixing all of that it's not a big deal we'll just put some more like strengthening stays on there i think what may have happened was during this transition part right here sometimes my car would bottom out a tiny bit now when we get the car on the hoist we'll see if my ex external wastegate pipe was what was actually what was bottoming out on this because if that's what was bottoming it out that's why the three stays that were welded on the manifold snapped and then the whole thing snapped off but Okachan said it's it's unlikely that that's the case because every single one of these HK's manifolds that's on this car he says the same things happened just from normal engine torque and use which is why the torque dampen is on there to try and stop it from moving so much so uh, yeah it was gonna happen regardless um, I'm just glad now that we're going to strengthen it, make it better, and then in the future we'll probably change it up and get like a nice six boost and do some nice fabricating and stuff. Boy oh boy, did I paint her black. <laughs> glad, I, glad I didn't spend too much money on my paint job, hey. So we're now heading home and uh, with the loader in the front and this beautiful sunset, I just wanted to pull out the camera and show you guys. The camera does not do this justice, it's like a really nice blistering orange and it looks like a yellow on the screen. Hopefully it looks better on the computer, but far out. Epic day. Let's get to the workshop. Just got back to Yashio factory, unloading the car. Probably gonna fit it inside tonight. Uh, I better jump in the driver's seat and drive this thing off. Get this thing done as quick as possible so we can all head home. Let's start this puppy up. Oh, she's loud. I went and got the faithful steed, the Skyline, which still hasn't died, even though the turbo on there is kind of leaking a bit of oil through my intake. It's not actually like that bad, it's just only weeping, and I think it's only happening when the air surges through it, which is really weird because it shouldn't harm the turbo. It's got an anti-surge housing and all that kind of stuff. It's designed to not have a blow-off valve, that turbo, so it's just a manufacturing fault, but it's only leaking a little bit of oil, so as long as I keep checking the oil levels, we're fine. Anyways, my point being, this thing doesn't die. <laughs> But this thing does. Ah! Anyways, I'm unloading everything from this car. Shut up! Seriously, S15s, why do they do this? 34s don't do this, but S15s do. Even if the key is in the ignition just the tiniest bit. Ah! But like with R33s and 34s, you can just pull the key out a tiny bit and it stops beeping. Anyways, loading things from this car to that car. You understand what's going on. Let's do it. All right, lads, so I'm actually nearly home now. I jumped on the highway and headed as soon as I could because uh, tomorrow what's gonna happen is I'm gonna wake up super early, go to Yashio factory, jump in the truck, go pick up the car that we left parked up there at uh, Nikko, and then bring it back to Yashio factory so that at noon, at 12, I can uh, jump back in my car, head home, go to the hospital, and get them to get something out of my eyes. So on Sunday, when I was uh, making cuts to the dash, now, if ever I'm cutting metal, I always wear safety glasses. But for some stupid reason, I didn't wear safety glasses because I was like, oh, I'm just cutting plastic, right? Anyways, guess what happened? A piece of plastic got stuck in my eye and it's been three days, I can't get it out. So I gotta go to the hospital and they're gonna have to get it out with a needle. Which sounds super, super painful, uh, but it is what it is. Anyways, once I get home, let's wrap this puppy up. What an epic day. Seriously, I, I honestly, I think 
the day couldn't have gone any better. You're probably like, what are you talking about? You broke your car and all these things went wrong. Not really. Honestly, it's just gonna make the car way more reliable. We're gonna fix a whole bunch of issues. It's, the thing sat for 10 years after being like a champion drift car in multiple competitions. So, kind of expected. Um, all these things though, it just, yeah, makes me happy because I know we're fixing it now making it stronger, making it better, making it more reliable. No more problems. Well, I mean, <laughs> hashtag SRCR or SR20 problems, whatever. I don't know. All right. I had an epic day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment in the comment section. Tell me what you thought was the best part about today. Um, I'm still laughing about how I was like, wait, did I just blow my transmission or diff up uh, when uh, the, the wastegate fell off? Because it literally like the sound it made in the moment of just losing all power, I literally was like, wait, did, did, did I just blow my transmission up? <laughs> oh, funny moment. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Jamata.